And you have to understand, Jenna is very quiet. She is not a person to want attention, but she's just so proud of what's happening in one little corner of her Northeast Kansas City neighborhood. We're gonna extend it um, further south so that there will be eight more raised beds. Jenna Wilkins has big plans for this large vacant lot near Hardesty and St. John, a community garden where families can grow their own food. After a building was demolished, residents struggled to repurpose the space. Jenna moved to the neighborhood, determined to make it happen. We're just trying to repurpose it in a way that it um, doesn't take a lot of resources for us as a neighborhood. Building a garden is fairly easy and anyone can do it. There have been obstacles. Cars kept cutting through the lot, tearing up the soil. So Jenna helped the neighborhood put up fences. There's no water source for gardening. Now a plan to collect rainwater from a nearby building. She helped get eight fruit trees planted on the site. The neighborhood is known for its diversity. It has seen its share of crime, but that's not how Jenna defines it. This is just where people live and grow up and raise their kids and go to school and work. Neighbors feel lucky to have her. It's not a vacant lot anymore. I think she's been an asset to the community and to the neighborhood and making this little lot come alive. She's pretty much a kind of a silent tornado getting things done around here. I'm motivated to do this because I love my neighbors. No matter where you live, you can do things and your neighbors are already doing things to make your, your neighborhood a good place. Mm. And Jenna has applied for grants to pay for all those improvements and she tells me she's confident that they'll be planting in May and have some food ready for those families by August. And all those trees that were planted, she worked in conjunction with folks to get that done. Just think about four or five years, all the food that's going to reap. Yeah. So, oh, that's yeah. just awesome. A lot happening.